So you've got a digital SLR or maybe a point and shoot camera and you want to take better photos in low light. You find that your flash is blowing out your subject. It's just, the color's bad. It's just not looking so great. So here are some tips on how you can get better low light photos by just knowing the settings on your camera, but also, you know, a couple of ways you can use do-it-yourself hacks to uh, uh, adjust the flash so it actually looks good on your subject. Let's get started. First, the one thing that you can do is get a lens that is a fast lens. And a fast lens means it has a wide aperture. Now this is not something you're going to be able to do so easily on a point and shoot because the lenses aren't changeable. So it either comes with a fast lens or it doesn't. On a DSLR, you can remove the lens. And you can get a fast lens with a wide aperture that will let in more light. Get this thing back on here. Um, so when you are getting one of those lenses, you'll notice that they're rated in f-stops. That's f slash 1.8, for example. And f1.8, the lower that number is, the wider the aperture is, the more light it takes in. But the disadvantage of using a wide aperture lens is that more is out of focus. In some cases, that isn't a disadvantage. In some cases, you want a very selective focus. And you can get really beautiful photographs that way. But if you're trying to take a portrait, for example, anything under f2.8 can sometimes just keep part of the face out of focus and it looks really bad. And you have to be careful also when shooting in a very selective focus that you actually get it in focus. Autofocus isn't as helpful because it's going to pick the closest point. So if you're taking a portrait and you're using autofocus, it's going to hit the nose and then the eyes are going to be out of focus if the aperture is too wide. So that's not a good thing. But, you know, as you can see here, I'm using a 50mm uh, lens with an aperture of f2.8. And that is, uh, you know, that works quite well because I'm in focus and the background's out of focus. So you just have to find what works for you and what works in a low light situation. You can't tell so much in the room, but there's not a whole lot of light here. Um, I'm not even lit directly. So this is, you know, I'm, I'm able to do this because of the wide aperture, but also um, because of a uh, slow shutter speed and that's you know fine for video so here's the thing um, if you're if you're uh, taking a picture of a landscape a wide aperture is not going to help you it's uh, if you want things to be really you want really deep focus in that case but if there's if you're taking a landscape at night you can't you know you're not gonna have a lot of light so you can slow down that shutter speed because nothing's really moving in the landscape and if you slow down your shutter speed that's how long uh, the, the shutter opens and records image, uh, the image under the sensor, it'll let in a lot more light and you can get some really nice effects that way by just uh, opening the shutter for longer. So lower your shutter speed if you're taking a night landscape, for example. Uh, for pretty much any circumstance, you will be able to take better low light photos um, and have a faster shutter speed to reduce blur and all of that. Um, by bumping up the ISO, and the ISO is basically the film speed equivalent, but it's the sensitivity to light. So if you're using an ISO of 200 or 100, that's pretty good for outdoors during the day when you have plenty of light. Indoors, 400 or 800 generally is better, and you won't get too much noise at those ISOs. That's really the disadvantage of the ISO um, speed, because it is the higher you go, the more noise that comes in. Um, better cameras will have less noise, but point and shoots generally pick up quite a bit of noise um, at higher ISOs. And so you can even go higher than 800, but that's when you're going to start to see noise in most cameras. Now, the other things you can do, if you have a, uh, if, if you have a flash and you want to use the flash to add light to the scene, then there are a couple things you can do. One, you can bounce it off the ceiling, which is one way to get a more pleasing uh, amount of light. So if your flash is bright enough to do that, uh, just bounce the light off the ceiling, your subjects won't get all blown out because there's not a huge light in their face. Um, but if you want to diffuse the light directly at them, you can use something like a spoon. This is something that we've uh, posted about on Lifehacker before. Another thing you can do is you can just make out a, a little diffuser out of scotch tape. You can just but uh, put a bunch of pieces of tape together so it's not sticky on any particular side um, and that will help diffuse the light if you just put it over the flash you can tape that on or you can rubber band it on or whatever you want to do. You can also use a piece of printer paper. Pretty much anything that's translucent and white will do the job. If you um, have a colored piece of paper it will color the light um, in, in some way so in some cases that might actually be good because you might want to have a warmer light for indoors. Now. One other thing you can do is actually purchase constant lighting, which tends to be a little bit more pleasing. You can get an LED, which you can strap onto the hot shoe, which is where you put accessories on your camera up, up on the top. And uh, this one I've got here is the LP Micro um, from 
uh, from light panels. And this works pretty well. It's got a adjustable amount of light there. I can, I can dim it and so on. Um, it takes batteries and it comes with filters so you can uh, make the light warmer or not. Um, you can get this, I think, for $100, $150, somewhere in there. Uh, but there are definitely cheaper light panels that you can buy, not light panels, uh, the brand, but uh, panels of LED lights that you can strap on your camera and power by the battery. So those are a few ways you can get better photos with lower light. Have fun uh, taking your photography to the next level at night. <laughs>